Hello class, Mr. Geisler here today. Today we're talking about solving inequalities. Solving an inequality is much like we've done with an equation solving by doing inverse operations and undoing. There is one rule that I want you to take note of. If we multiply or divide by a negative number on both sides of the equation or the inequality, okay, we switch the sign. So we'd switch it from less than to greater than or from greater than to less than, or greater than or equal to, or less than or equal to. So we'd switch the sign if we multiply or divide by a negative number. So how would we solve y minus 6 equals 3? We would do the inverse. What are we doing to y? We're adding or subtracting 6. What's the opposite of subtracting 6? Adding 6. So we're going to add 6 to both sides. When we do that, this goes away y is equal to 3 plus 6, which is 9. So this would be the solution for, the, for just a regular equation. What if we have y minus 6 is greater than 3? Notice the only thing that's changed is we went from equal sign to a greater than sign. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to add 6 to both sides of the equation. This goes away. So y is greater than 3 plus 6, which is 9. Now notice we didn't multiply or divide anything, so we just keep the sign the same. Now how do we how would we go ahead and graph this? So if y is greater than 9, we're going to do and we're going to go over to 9, which is right here. We're going to do an open circle. We do an open circle if it's great less than or greater than. We do a closed circle, okay, closed circle if it's equal to greater than or equal or less than or equal to, okay? So, in this case, open circle, what's greater than 9? 10, 11, 12. We're going to shade it to the right. So we want the numbers that are greater than, okay? So let's take a look at two examples. Negative 4.2x is less than or equal to negative 29.4. So I'm multiplying here. So what's the opposite of multiplying by negative 4.2? Dividing by negative 4.2. I'm going to do that on both sides. When I do that, okay, I divide by negative 4.2, I get x. Notice I'm dividing by a negative. That means I'm going to switch. Remember, switch the sign. So it's going to be go from less than or equal to to greater than or equal to. Dividing this out, if a negative divided by a negative is a positive, 4.2 goes into 29.4 seven times. So it's going to be x is greater than or equal to 7. So now, if I'm going to graph this, again, let's say I put 7 right here, okay? 7 down here. And it's greater than or equal to, so it's a closed circle. Closed circle at 7, and it's greater than, so I'm going to shade it to the right. Because all these numbers, 8, 9, 10, and so on and so forth, are greater than, okay? Now, finally, this one down here. Number two, I notice I have a five outside the parentheses, so I need to distribute. Five times this, five times this. So I've got negative 16 is greater than or equal to five times 2z is 10z, okay? And then minus five times 11, which is 55. Now, this is, comes down to a two-step equation. I'm going to add 55 to both sides of the equation. I'm going to undo that subtraction first. So I get this plus this ends up being 39 is greater than or equal to 10z, okay, 10z. Now, I'm going to divide both sides by 10. I'm multiplying by 10. The opposite is to divide by 10. And I get 39 divided by 10. If I divide that out, 10 goes into 39, that's going to end up being 3, uh, sorry, 3.9, okay? If I divide that out. You know how to divide numbers, okay? You're in high school now. So 3.9 is greater than or equal to Z. So if I rewrite this, this could be written as Z is less than or equal to 3.9. Now, if I'm going to graph this, I'm going to have a closed circle, okay? Let's say this is 4. I'm going to have it a little bit to the left here, closed circle at 3.9, okay? 
And if it's less than, I'm going to shade it which way? To the left, because everything to the left is less than. So that's a short little uh, lesson on how to solve inequalities.